Hey everybody, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial. Today, we are going to be designing a Mother's Day um, design inside of Canva because Mother's Day is almost here, as you know. And, um, you know, we also need to show our love in the, in our designs to our mothers. So, if you want to be able to create something interesting for your mom and um, to present it to her on Mother's Day, then this is the perfect tutorial for you. So, without any much ado, let me roll the intro and when we come back, we will get started. Okay, this is fantastic. So, the first thing we are going to do is not to click on create a design or all of these things, but I'll pull up, um, you know, I'm already on um, clip art. Okay, so, what I started doing was I started searching for some Mother's Day, you know, photos because um, I would want some PNGs, okay? Or what we could also do, let me just fix this in here. What we could also do is, um, you know, just create a custom dimension, choose all your dimension and everything. And I have mine already here. So I would go into photos and we can search for mother, okay? If you want a PNG, fine but if you want you know mothers you can also search for mother on um, canva and i'm sure canva has some free images you know you can you can use so you can see just a very interesting and um lovely photo we can use okay so if um you found your photo inside of canva and um, if you're also on the pro version of canva what you can do is you can click on the photo come to effect and remove the background you know of the photo but if you're on the free version of canva what you can do is you can search for the photo from on splash okay and after you search for the photo from on splash you can send it into remove the bg to remove the background of your photo these are the things i would need you to um to have in mind okay and you, you can also use sticker mule also to remove the background of your photo so i'm just saying all of these things so that we can wait for um, canva to do its thing so you can see this is what we have at the moment okay so what i'm going to do is to go into background okay and in background search for bouquet i think that's how it's pronounced bouquet and you'll find some interesting backgrounds like this so you can choose you know any of them but since it's mother's day we want to create um some it should be feminine okay because mother's day is obviously it's not for men i know yes yeah, some men um took total responsibilities but it's you know purposely for mothers okay so it should be here then what we can do is um i think we'll add some touches okay but i want us to then come into elements and in elements you should add a circle okay a white circle and make it bigger nice one and beautiful okay this is beautiful and we'll position it in the center and also make your circle white okay make the color of the circle um white and you can see mine is saying this okay it's, it's changed how is it called all changes have been saved i send it to the back and I come back into Unsplash and I was also searching for flowers. So you can see there are a number of flowers um, I, I, you know, I found over here. So we can do this. You can see there's this thing over here, which is also looking very interesting. So I would download this. Okay, I'll download. And um, you'd find them in, um, you know, in the description, there's a link in there that would lead you to a google drive and something funny happened um just i think yesterday yes i went in the google drive and i realized someone had deleted all the files over there and i you know i just didn't know why someone would have the intention to do that i was really surprised honestly speaking but you know since I'm a good Samaritan, like I would say, I re uploaded all the files, but this time around, I didn't organize the file because it was just like double work and um, it was just too much, okay, because I was also busy doing other things, so I just dumped everything in there, so you'd have to take your time to find the files, okay? Okay, so there are some other flowers we can add, so I'd want us to add this one also, okay? So I scroll down, I'll see the download png it should download quickly 
okay and um, there's a last flower i would love to add here i would love to add it so i'm downloading all of these for um for specific reasons okay so it's not because i want to waste your time but rather there are certain things i would demonstrate you can use any of these flowers and um, i'm also downloading them so that instead of you coming here and searching for flowers you already have them in the google drive okay okay so this is the last flower i am going to download so i scroll down and i download this flower also okay so it should download in a bit then i just would close all of these tabs and close this as well and move this over here okay so now that we have um uh you know images and all of these things downloaded i'll come into upload upload media okay and in upload media there are you know i can find the things i downloaded here so i just select all of them and i click on open so it should upload okay and another way you can upload is just by dragging everything in canva all right yeah so now that we have the what we can do is first of all i can select this particular rose uh, position it here okay maybe i'll make the entire thing a bit smaller uh -huh. okay so i position this rose over here and then right click and send it backward okay then i can duplicate it again and rotate it okay move it up over here and i right click and also send it backward so you can see what we are trying to do okay now we can add this one also and position it you know somewhere here it matters so you know mothers love flowers and all of that even myself what i'm even going to do i would edit you know this one later on put my mom's photo over there and use it as simple as that okay so i reduce this position it here right click and send it backward okay then i want to put some text over here okay and overall you can see that the you know this cutout part of our image is too sharp and it's something we always try to hide okay and you know the best thing we do always to hide um these things so we have the good by this time if you always always watch my tutorials please by this time you should have the gradient imported in your canva so that you always don't have to go into um the google drive you should have it in your canva by now because for me i'm a big fan and you know most of my tutorials i use this so if you are um uh how do you call it a returning viewer please you should have this in your canva by now okay so i double click and i move it up all right but you can see how it's looking right now we would actually need to do a few things and the first thing is to change the color okay but you can see with this um bokeh or has okay the bouquet thing we have over here, we i want us to generate colors from that okay so click on your gradient and with this um how is it called with this step you need the um the software the canva app okay yeah you need a canva app and there's a link in the description that will take you to um the page there's the if you're on mac if you're on mac okay you, you can also download it if you're on pc like myself or windows you can also um have it downloaded so come to shadows and you click on the plus icon and there's this color picker so when you click on it you can pick colors okay you can see you can just pick colors and i'll select this and copy and come here and select this and paste it over also over here then i um how do you call it then i apply okay so after i apply i would position it here and i'll duplicate okay so it means that in this case i would want to duplicate till i i do not see the sh um the cutout part of my image or what i can even do is let me move this here is to make my image bigger okay so that with the cutout um part of it and let me do this okay so you can see what we are doing 
so i select this and i also move it just to make sure everything is aligned select all and move it here okay so you can see what we are doing so in this case this is what we have and we'll now come into text okay and um we'll search for not to search, but we'll just select add a heading okay so we place it here and we can say mother okay so m o t h e r okay mother then we select it come into the typeface area and we are going to look for a nice script font so i'll type script s e r i p p t okay and uh, these interesting scripts so you know you can with this um part of the tutorial to you are free to use any one you want so let me just say mother okay you are free to use any um font you want there are so many there are so many and um the thing is let me see if okay there's another one called genti okay which is also i think yeah this is a very cool font you can also use it's called genti okay g e n t y so just in case you also want to use the same font this is the font you can use so maybe i can take off one of these and position the mother here all right so you're supposed to say all right okay if i say all right you're just supposed to say all right <laughs> okay so what i'm going to do is i just duplicate my text come to effect and we'll choose the holo okay and we'll come here and we are going to change the color you can see canva generated some colors for us so this is what i have right now i go into effect and increase the thickness of it okay then i right click and send it backward so that it's behind my text so you can see what we have right now this is very 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 um you know sweet and beautiful i think i love it so much i really love this understand okay so come back into your uploads and you know with the flowers you can you can still add don't add too many flowers otherwise it will make your design look um funny if i should say okay so uh, what i'm going to do is with the gradients i added i will position it you know select all and position it in the center okay good then what i'm going to do is i can get some leaves um i think i should have oh i don't have the leaves over here okay so i will just import it it's already in the um uh how is it called it's already in the google drive so you can go in there you'd find you'd find the leaves you can see i'm always downloading elements and stuff okay so let me just get the leaves quickly all right okay yeah this is the leave i'm looking for so it should be uh, okay it's nice uploaded so i can add it in canva you know just to sprinkle them around and with this you can also use uh the blur effect okay so i can blur this out and make it bigger so that it also looks like it's close to our camera okay it's called the depth of field that's what it's called okay so i can send this back and um, i reduce the blurriness to zero and maybe make it smaller okay so i can even increase the size and send it backward you get it duplicate it position this can even be here reduce okay you can see there are so many things you can do even with the leaf alone so i can reduce it very small and i can take the blurriness off okay to two and with this one i can send it back okay, so okay so you can see it's back but i want to let it go to the back 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 so i press control so i press ctrl and i keep clicking okay so you can see i keep clicking so i'm on the leaf okay i click oh keep clicking 
so you select the leaf come to position and send it to back okay then uh let it go down okay so this is something i want to say so i want to say happy mother so you can see this leaf over here should go behind uh -huh, something like that then i can say happy mother's day so um i don't want to be moving so many things around so i'll select the gradient and lock it so that nothing moves around okay then press um t on your keyboard then let's increase the size of this and we can say happy h a p p y happy mother's day so i'll select um this mother move it down just a little bit okay and select the one behind you can see even with this it's another style you can use you see it's another style which make it like 3d um in a 3d way you understand so yeah so um now now we just have to find uh, an interesting place to position this but we will okay so we can just place it right on top somewhere here so i'll use my arrow key to move it down then i duplicate it and do the same style come to holo increase okay the size and um we change the color okay so we change the color make sure it's positioned right on top and you send it backward okay and i think the thickness of it isn't enough so we increase the thickness another thing you can also do is even to reduce the um the size of the shape you have on top just a little bit and you can position it okay so you see what i have at the um at the moment so yeah so it should be here this is a, a cool place if you want to position here that's fine okay and let's say we wanted to add maybe some text so you can just say i love you so much because you mean the world to me please 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 do not copy what i've written this is message a message from my heart so i beg you find your own message i do not want to share messages from my heart with with you <laughs> okay so please find your your own message so i select quicksand okay i come to the font and i select quicksand it's one font i've come to um to really really love quicksand and i increase it and i center it okay if it's not centering come to position and it's saying this in the center wow maybe i can select the color to white because i want the feminine touch you can see what we have created so um i i don't feel satisfied honestly speaking um okay instead of happy mother okay what i'm going to do is i'll say sweet mother okay so sweet mother because i just missed um what i i wanted to say instead of happy mothers i just wrote happy mother so i'll say sweet mother so maybe this can come down and the h can come on top so sweet mother okay so this is what i wanted to show you um how to create inside of canvas so that you can make your mother feel special on mother's days okay so yes the name is benjamin and it has always been benjamin and always remember that there is no limit to creativity at all i'll see you in my next tutorial after mother's day